News. Metro police are searching for two armed men believed to have robbed a couple of convenience stores in Donaldson overnight. Yeah, News Channel 5's Matthew Torres has worked this story for us all morning long. He's at the MAPCO there on Lebanon Pike. And you got a copy of the surveillance video, and police want you to show that off, right? Uh, definitely, they're hoping that this surveillance video will help them track down the suspects who robbed this map go behind me here on Elm Hill and McAvick Pike at gunpoint. Both incidents happening at a MAPCO. Take a look at that surveillance video. This one happening around midnight when police, as you can see, two men wearing masks and hoodies walked in, pointing the gun at the clerk all while the customer was still inside. They got away with cash and cigarettes, and we do have a little bit of description. One of them wearing all black, the other wearing that gray hoodie with a white print saying Aero, A-E-R-O. Get this, just 15 minutes earlier, though, the men, according to police, also robbed the clerk at the MAPCO on Lebanon Pike and Spence Lane at gunpoint. Luckily, though, no one was hurt. Again, all similarities between these two incidents, but right now they are still on the run. If you know anything or may recognize the gesture or maybe even the attire, call police 615-74-CRIME. Reporting live in Donaldson this morning, Matthew Torres, News Channel 5. All right, Matthew, thank you very much. And more breaking news we're watching for you. Metro Police are now on the scene of a burglary at a fast food restaurant. And our Kimberly Davis is at the Burger King on Murfreesboro Pike. So, Kimberly, what have you learned so far? Was the restaurant closed at the time? Amy, police are telling us that this restaurant was closed at the time of the burglary and officers are still on the lookout for whoever is responsible for breaking into this business. Now, it looked like this business was taking customers through the drive through but that is not the case. The drive through is closed as well as the lobby of this business. As you can imagine, they are still preparing for the day. They didn't get inside until about a half hour ago, so they still have to prepare for their day so these people are in the drive through but they will not be leaving with food today now the manager of this business tells us when she walked inside she went into the drive through area and noticed that the drive through window had been broken into there was glass all over the floor as well as straws she was not sure if the true intruder was still inside the store so she ran out of the store and called 911. By the time officers got here, they were looking around and investigating, but they did not find anyone inside that store. And the manager is telling us this is not the first time that this store has been broken into. So officers are still on the lookout for that suspect. If you have any information that could help police in their investigation, they're asking that you give them a call at 615 seven for crime. We will continue to follow this story and bring you another update as soon as it becomes available. For now, we are live in Nashville. I'm Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5. All right, Kimberly, thank you very much. And happening right now, law enforcement agencies across the country are stepping up their efforts looking for this little nine-year-old girl from East Tennessee. News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen is at the TBI headquarters with the very latest on the search for Carly Trent. Alexandra, what can people do now to try to help the authorities find this child? See, police are asking for people to search their rural properties and look for evidence of camping because right now they think that the uncle and that missing nine year old could be camping as we speak. This comes after nine year old Carly Trent was taken by her uncle Gary Simpson from Hawkins Elementary School in Rogersville. Simpson reportedly lied to the school and took Carly. An Amber Alert was issued and police have received 1500 tips from 19 states. Surveillance cameras spotted the two at an East Tennessee grocery store buying camping items a week ago. TBI agents think the two are traveling in a white 2002 Dodge van. Simpson used to have custody of the nine year old, but that was taken away. The child's father is afraid Simpson will hurt his daughter. He had access to her every day, every single day. That just that just. You know, makes me even think further that he he was just obsessed with her. I mean, he had to, he wanted her and he wanted her all to himself. A $15,000 reward is being offered for tips that can either lead to Simpson's arrest or lead police to Carly. If you see either of them, call 911 so that officers can bring her back to her father. Reporting live at TBI headquarters, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5.
Thank you, Alexandra. Developing news, a man is behind bars after a startling murder confession. Benjamin Luck told first responders that he shot his wife, Daria, Tuesday. The couple's three children were also inside their Cumberland Furnace home at the time. Montgomery County Sheriff's deputies took the 33-year-old into custody after the confession. The children are okay, by the way. We're learning, uh, trying to learn more about the motive and what sparked the shocking 911 call. Stay with News Channel 5 for any updates. We now know that a Fort Campbell soldier has died following a training exercise down in Louisiana. We're told the 101st Airborne Division soldier was injured Tuesday during a live fire training exercise at the Joint Readiness Training Center at Fort Polk. The soldier was rushed to the hospital but did not survive. No word yet exactly what happened. The incident remains under investigation right now. The Antioch man accused of pulling a gun in Washington, D.C., has pleaded not guilty. Officials say Larry Dawson drew a BB gun at the Capitol's Visitor Center checkpoint and prompted a lockdown in March. Police shot him when he wouldn't drop the gun, and he's been in the hospital ever since. Capitol Police also arrested the 66-year-old back in October for disrupting House proceedings and shouting he was a prophet of God. Dawson will be back in federal court on Monday. And after years of pollution accusations, the city of Franklin has decided to go ahead and pay up. The Harpeth River Watershed Association says Franklin's sewage plant has been contaminating the Harpeth River. According to the new federal settlement, the association is calling for the city to add pollution control as it expands the plant. Franklin will spend $10 million over the next five years to upgrade old sewer lines and other projects to protect the scenic little river through town. The city is also promising to extensively test the water quality. A judge still has to sign off on that before it can become final.